A Very Improbable Story by Edward Ian Horn. Illustrated by Adam, Adam Gustafson. Oh, there you guys are. I was just about to read this, so might as well read it to you. Just kidding. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mr. Neil Singh. Today I'm going to be reading a story to you called A Very Improbable Story by Edward Ian Horn. Illustrated by Adam Gustafson. So let's get to the book. And just so you know, I'm going to make a separate video. So this is a book that goes with the Kiwi Co. I'll make that in my next video. For right now, thank you. For right now, we're just going to read the book. A Very Improbable Story by Edward Ian Horn, illustrated by Adam Gustafson. One morning, Ethan woke up with a cat on his head. There was nothing improbable about that. Ethan's cat, Snowy, sometimes curled up there to sleep, but it, this was different. The cat on Ethan's head wasn't his cat. Here's a picture of it. Okay, next page. What in the, what are you doing up there? Ethan tried to remove the animal. The cat wouldn't budge. I wouldn't do that, said the cat. You can talk. A kid, kid, you're a master of the obvious, said the cat. Here's another pic, here's a, uh, another picture. Kid, you're a master of the obvious, said the cat. How is, what kind of, I can't believe this, Ethan stam, stammered it as he scrambled out of bed. My name is Odds, and I like to play games of probability. How likely is that someone something will happen? What does that have to do with being on my head? Ethan looked in the mirror. Win a game and I'll get off, said Odds. I love to play I'd love to play a game, said Ethan, but I have soccer in an hour. It's the last match of the season. Oh, asked Odds. You usually do you usually play soccer with the cat on your head? Come on, the team's counting on you, Ethan pleaded. Odds didn't move. Ethan shook his head back and forth. No good. He did jumping jacks, a cartwheel, and a handstand. Odds held on. Hey kid. I see an easy way out of this. I'll be right back, guys. Hey, kid, I see an easy way out of this. That can, um, that can of coins on your shelf is an opportunity. How, asked Ethan. If you can pull out a dime without looking, I'll get off your head. Ethan reached and and pulling out a penny. Ta-da! Sing odd, you lose. Maybe a shower will convince you to leave. Ethan muttered, cats don't like getting wet, right? Ethan was right. Odds didn't like getting wet. He howled, but the, but he didn't get off. Ethan turned off the shower. So the only way to get you off if I win is if I win your game. That's right, said Odds. Ethan was putting on his shorts and his soccer jersey. The neck hole was big enough for Odds to fit through. Don't put on your socks yet, ordered Odds. It can't be our next it can't be our next game. All of your pairs of socks are different. If you'll win if you'll win if you can pull out two matching socks without looking Ethan reached into the drawer and pulled out one out a striped sock. So now all I have to do is pull out a matching one, he said. You have a very low probability of finding a match. Here goes nothing, said Ethan. He took a deep breath and pulled out a sock. Ta-da, said Odds. You lose again. I mean, you lose. After you pulled out the first sock, there was 19 single socks left. So there was... A sock out of 19 would have let you win. Is this something they call bad odds? Said Ethan. Some do, admitted Odds. 
though I would never put the words in bad and odds together. So the odds were 1 out of 19, said Ethan, but now they're 1 out of 18. He pulled out another sock and groaned. This one had stars on it. I think it's time for a new game, on Beyond. At the moment, the door flew open. Katie, Kit, Ethan's little sister, Kendi, ran in. Kitty, she squealed. Hi, Ethan. Hello, Kitty. And Cindy. Hello, said Odds. Squinting down at her. Let's play, Cindy squealed, grabbing onto Odds' tail. Odds pulled his tail away. I only play probability games, he sniffed. Want a snack? Cindy asked, picking up Ethan's bag of marbles. Taking the bag from her. It would make a great probability game, wouldn't it? Maybe, Odds admitted. Ethan dumped marbles onto the rug counted. There are 25 white and 25 yellow, 25 green and 25 blue. 100 in all, Cindy counted two. One, two, five gazillion. Here's a probability game, said Ethan. I'll pick out a white one. You have 25 in 100 chances on doing that. That's too easy, said Odds. The game, the, that's the game as odds of one in four, Cindy said. I know a game. Let's jump on the marvels. She waved her arms ready to leap. No, cried out Odds and Ethan together. Ethan made Cindy sit on the bed. I'll be right back, guys. Ethan made Cindy sit on the bed. How about this, said Ethan. I'll try to pull out two white marbles. That would have a low probability. Odd shrugged. What prob probability? Probability. No. What? What's pro ba ba bibbidi? Asked Cindy. Why are you doing that? I'm trying to figure out my chance. That's what a probability means. He arranged the marbles in two groups, in groups of two. I'm putting together every combination of two colors to figure out how likely two white marbles would be. I see there are 16 combinations, he declared. So the odds are 1 in 16. Tough odds, purred the cat. Let's play. Ethan pushed the marvels into a big pile. He picked one without looking. It was white. Halfway there, he replaced the marble and picked up another one. It was yellow. Ta-da! Sang odds. You lose. Let me see, demanded Cindy. Ethan sighed and showed her the mismatched marbles. Cindy reached and took out two white marbles. I win, she shouted. You cheated, Ethan said. It's not a probability game if you look. Ethan, Cindy, breakfast, their mom called. Bye, Kitty, said Cindy. She gave Odds a kiss and ran out of the room. Ew, that's gross. Like, it's not even part of her family. Please, Odds, I have to go to my soccer game. Ethan stopped. Hey, wait, maybe I can, maybe soccer can be a probability game. If we score five goals, we'll make 25 attempts. Then we have a um, one in five chance. And, and, asked Odds. Ethan sighed. I don't know. I'll think about it during breakfast. 
I hope no one's in the kitchen, he said, putting his cowboy hat to high odds. Cindy had already finished her breakfast. The kitchen was empty. Here you go. It's Odie Wolf's, said Ethan, scooping a handful of dog-shaped cereals. Try them. They're delicious. They, they always try to beat the odds. But look, exclaimed Ethan, there are five shapes. Poodles, Beagles, Collies, St. Bernards, and Pugs. That could be a probability game. Show me, said Odds. It's like mar it's the marble game. It's like the marble game. But now we have five different shapes. Ethan pushed them into pairs. There are try Would you like me to try for two pugs? said Odds. Okay. They have the smallest teeth. The piece <laughs> He closed his eyes and picked, mixed up the piece of cereal. A pug! He replaced the piece with a, and picked up another. This is it, he said, slowly opening his hand. It was another pug! Ta-da! I won! Ethan shouted. I did something with a low probability. This is great! He began jumping up and down but suddenly stopped i don't want you to be a poor sport but you did say you get off my head if i won go odds landed with a womp on the table nice going kid sure you don't want to keep playing it might make you a better soccer player ethan paused but you know it just might you know it just might Oh, really? Odd purred. Odds purred. Do tell. The last, in the last game, I shot on 20 times and scored five of those. Ethan explained. My chance of getting a goal five is five in 20 or one in four. I'm, I should be able to make one goal every four tries. Good odds, admitted odds. But look at this, Ethan said. He made a drawing to show how he made the shots. I tried to score a low shot 15 times. Only three of those went in, so I have three and 15 chances of scoring. I tried five times with... To score with a high shot. Since two of those scored, I have two and five of getting a goal with a high shot. A two and five chance is better than a one in five chance. Which means, Ethan concluded, concluded, that I have great odds if I aim high. Not bad, kid, said Odds. Ethan's mother coughed from the garage. Ethan, it's time to go. You don't want to be late for your big for the big match. Odds jumped down from the table, walked towards the door. It's time for me to hit the road, kid. With probability on your side, you're going to win that game, right? Ethan smiled and opened the door. Probably. The end. Hope you guys enjoyed the story. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Please like. Oh, yeah. And please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bells. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.